Today we're going to talk about one of the greatest living mestres, Mestre Joao Grandi. We're also going to talk about video games and capoeira on our take. And we want to share some more details on an upcoming event. Along with all the other great events happening this month. Today, Today on, on the, the Capoeira, capoeira News Show. Show. Capoeira Topazio in Guadalajara, Mexico is holding their 6th annual Bachisado from August 10th through August 15th. The event features courses in both MMA and capoeira and a Makulele performance as well. For more information about this bachisado, you can email the group at kromot at gmail.com. Crystal? Thank you, Louis. Awo Capoeira is having their bachisado in the grassroots community space in Jersey City, New Jersey on August 15th. Mestre Lincoln will also be teaching a workshop that day before the bachisado. For more information on this bachisado, you can email Awo Capoeira at awucapoeira at gmail.com. After a year and a half of fundraising, Capoeira Brazil San Francisco is having their first annual Bachisado weekend from August 12th through August 15th. For more information on this Bachisado, you can contact Professor Araña at CapoeiraBrazilSF at gmail.com. Capoeira Volta Mundo is having a Capoeira competition strictly for the kids in Sarasota, Florida. The competition will have four rounds consisting of floreros, duplas, instruments, and finally, they will judge on the students' capoeira game. The event is taking place on August 22nd, and if you'd like more information on it, you can contact the group at students at voltamundo.com. And now, here's Lewis with our featured mestre. Thank you, Crystal. Joao Oliveira dos Santos, or Mestre Joao Grandi, was born in the village of Itaji, just south of Bahia, Brazil. Mr. Joao Grandi began capoeira at 20 years old, first training with Joao Pequeno and then directly under Mr. Bastina himself. Even though he started late in the capoeira game, he flourished within the community. Mr. Joao Grandi and Mr. Joao Pequeno worked together in numerous films about capoeira, and Joao Grandi himself was, cho was chosen to model for Caribe, a famous African painter. In 1981, Mr. Bastina passed away leaving the legacy of Angola to both Joao Pequeno and Joao Grandi. In his grief, Mestre Joao Grandi ceased playing capoeira until Mestre Joao Pequeno pulled him out of retirement to revive Mestre Pachina's academy. In 1995, he received a doctorate of humane letters from Uppsala College in East Orange, New Jersey. And in 2001, he was awarded the National Heritage Fellowship from the NEA, which is one of the most prestigious awards given to practitioners of traditional arts in the U.S. Today, at the age of 76, Mr. Joao Grandi still plays and teaches capoeira. Thank you, Louis. It's great to hear about such an awesome mestre. Capoeira Senzala in Strasbourg, France, is having a workshop and a birthday holda with Professor Dos Santos. The workshop is starting on August 14th, and it ends on August 16th. For more information, you can email them at ducentosenzala at hotmail.com. Professor Kenneth is hosting an Angola workshop in Presov, Slovakia on August 15th through August 16th. For more information on this workshop, you can email him at zralockman at yahoo.com. Capoeira is featured in both good ways and bad ways in both movies and video games. Today, on our take, we're going to take a look at two video games that feature a capoeirista as a playable character. The first game we want to talk about is Street Fighter 3, New Generation, and the character of Elena. I really liked Elena as a playable character. I mean, she's got a decent Jenga, she throws some really decent combos as well, plus she's got these really long ass legs and she still is able to go from standing up really tall to being down really low on the ground. I agree, I agree. But she has an interesting backstory. That she does. She has a very interesting, but very cheesy backstory. Get this, she is an African princess with a father who has a PhD in medicine from a French university who is also, also a witch doctor. Makes sense to me. Okay, <laughs> about that, let's try not to do that again, okay Street Fighter? Anyways, what I like about Elena is that instead of Abadaz, she's in a bikini. 
Come on, Street Fighter fans. You know you like a good bikini and a nice, pretty cup when you say, you know that? You know that? <laughs> also, she's, I, just, I just think she's a great fighter. She's very fun to play with against any other playable character in Street Fighter. The second game we want to take a look at is Fatal Fury and the character of Richard Meyer. Richard Meyer. If you were real, you were a liar, my friend. I mean, other if you're not a liar, you're a superhero because in PS2, how do you play with an Atabaki on your back? I was I was that, that I was actually going to do that. You were going to do that? I was going to do that. Okay, well, summer, when, hold okay, well, I'm going to play with you in a holda and okay. you're going to do that and you're going to show me how the Atabaki disappears when you hit the ground. It doesn't disappear, but it helps you like roll. So if you like if you were to knock me on the ground, I could very easily just roll. Oh, up. so if you put a kabasa on your face, then it'll, you know, protect you and you put an ame on your teeth, then it'll protect you. You can play teeth. ding ding ding. Yeah, yeah, you, you, Jenga, could, you, know? you can play, yeah. I don't I I don't understand. I just don't understand. Either. He also does this like five Aussie mouths flying through the air at the same time. Whee! Well, that's understandable because every mess that it does that Absolutely. over and over. I mean, totally I wouldn't, real. I wouldn't see that coming. If I were gonna play with a mess today, I'd want him to do that over and over because it'd be I just, a privilege. Yeah, it'd, it'd be amazing. I wouldn't see that Aussie mouth coming. Next week, we're going to take a look at Momoko from King of Fighters and Eddie Gordo from Tekken. Eddie Gordo. <laughs> Next week marks the beginning of the Capoeira Camp over in Divide, Colorado. We're very excited about this week-long event because Capoeira will be played at 9,000 feet above sea level. In the beautiful Rocky Mountains. Yes. It's a great place to have any sort of event. It's very great. It's very natural, very relaxing. Also in the, in the Rocky Mountains, high altitude. So Capoeira says it's very hard to breathe up there. You'll need oxygen, you know, but just it's a it's great workout. Just be careful, remember to, you know, be safe. Definitely. You step off the plane and your nose dries out. So yeah. if you wanted to be really cool, you could actually put an oxygen tank on your back and play kind of like Richard Meyer did. Oh, instead of with an Atabaki, you have the yeah, oxygen tank. Yeah, totally. I mean, it's possible. It's a great idea. She can do it. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, there's also a discussion forum filled with history from Capoeira, culture of Capoeira, and where the Capoeira future is going. Absolutely. In addition to that, there are movement classes and there's even a Portuguese language class, which I think is awesome. Very cool, very cool. Every Caparista, the more Portuguese that you know, the better. Yeah, exactly. Also, there's also going to be a bonfire and a music class around the bonfire. I think that sounds incredibly fun. Absolutely. And if that's not enough for you, there are actually going to be different outdoor activities. Since you're in Colorado, you might as well take advantage of um, the canoeing, there's hiking, there's also going to be an archery thing going on there so it's great lots of interesting sounds things. awesome if you want any more information just contact www.capocamp.com Conyers Capoeira in Atlanta Georgia is hosting a celebratory holda in honor of their grand opening on August 15th the holda is open to everyone and if you want more information about it you can contact the group at conyerscapoeira at gmail.com Real Capoeira is having a Capoeira weekend in Moscow, Russia from August 14th through the 16th. The event will feature classes in foho, makulele, and acrobatics along with music and several hodas. For more information on this event, you can contact them at real-pirulino at hotmail.com. Do you have any comments or suggestions that you'd like to share with us? Please write us at capoeiranewsshow at gmail.com. Thank you for joining us on today's episode of the Capoeira News Show. Please take care, and we'll see you again next week. Bye-bye.